Today, the Biden administration officially announced they are canceling student loan debt for most borrowers. That is good news for the countless borrowers across Tennessee who owe a combined $31 billion. That's according to educationdata.org. Now, folks who make less than $125,000 a year will have $10,000 forgiven from their loans. Pell Grant recipients can receive up to $20,000 forgiven. WSMV's Danielle Jackson joins us now. And Danielle, we know you talked to an expert tonight looking at both positive and negative effects this new policy could have. What have you learned? Tracy, I can tell you experts tell me this is an unprecedented case of loan forgiveness that's happened in the U.S. Right now, there are 46 million Americans with student loan debt. The Biden administration loan forgiveness targets providing families and individuals debt relief. President Biden announcing the nation's largest loan education debt on record Wednesday afternoon. The policy receiving criticism on both sides of the conversation. There's a, a more than that will now. Rick uh, Evans, a public uh, policy professor at Vanderbilt, uh, says the plan is a big deal for people who have been held back by crippling debt. One, it potentially allows those students to now use that money for purchasing a home, uh, for gaining wealth in other ways. We know that home ownership is uh, a large portion of people's wealth by the time they retire, and so it potentially allows them to invest earlier in that. In addition to that, he says it levels the playing field in places where there have been inequities in the past. For example, black students have uh, disproportionately been burdened with student loans and low income students um, have been disproportionately burdened with student loans relative to upper income families. And so this provides some opportunity for them to uh, have a more equal starting point after they have left um, higher education. Some critics of the plan say the policy is unfair for those who have already paid off their debts while others say the income threshold is too high. I think the question is, is $125,000 maybe too high of a limit from a public policy standpoint? Um, if uh, a couple is uh, making $250,000 a year jointly, do they need $10,000 of debt forgiven um, when they could easily afford to pay it a couple hundred dollars a month that um, that would entail over 10 years? And I think a lot of the debate will be around um, this might not be the most efficient use of resources. There could be better ways to target that money towards people that are really struggling and need it, um, whereas people in the you know, middle to upper income tiers might not need that sort of debt forgiveness. It's estimated that nearly 90 percent of borrowers earn less than $75,000 per year. But some economists think the plan will make inflation worse. I do think the Biden administration is running a risk of accelerating inflationary pressures because people are going to have money to buy other things with. Um, and I think that's uh, that's the risk that they've decided they're willing to run, um, knowing that this is uh, canceling a lot of debt is going to be beneficial to a large number of students in a lot of ways. Now, it's important to note this loan forgiveness policy applies to borrowers that have already borrowed money before July 1st. It does not necessarily apply for new borrowers moving forward. Now, the Biden administration says you'll have to apply to have your debts forgiven. As soon as we learn how to apply, we'll definitely let you know. Tracy. Marius. All right. Thank you very much, Danielle, tonight. And another